I'm really excited. You know why? Because this year we're free. So all of you who are clapping that you're free now, you need to go take the vaccine. Yes, sir. I'm getting serious with you all now. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I listened to the Attorney General in Barbados and the Prime Minister of Jamaica this past week. And when I heard them, oh, I gave thanks to God. Anybody who break the law and what they're going to do to them. And, and I said, God, you've been so good to us. We shut down and never again. And we can come to church and be free. I couldn't imagine another Easter lockdown. And those people across the region are locked down. And God has been good to us. We got to continue what God has done. And a lot of us afraid the vaccine, not us, some of you, not me. Tomorrow we're getting it. Tomorrow we're getting it. I was waiting for the right time. I didn't want to be the front of no line. I waiting for the time when God said to get it. God said tomorrow and he tell me, tell the church they need to follow me. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. I know some of you having your, 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 your moments and that's okay. That's all right. Nothing is wrong with that. I respect that. But I want you to understand this. I want you to understand this. At the end of the day, we have to recognize as a people that we have to do what is best for us. And God has been good to us. He has been. But the reality is, if we are going to get back to life as usual, as we would like it to be, because we are not there yet, we have to inoculate ourselves. And open this, con the tourists, I, every time I see Sister Marlene, I feel sorry for her. Every time I see Brother McIntosh, I feel sorry for him. We have taxi drivers in this country. I feel sorry for them. I don't know the last day we've had a U.S. dollar in this offering plate. No, you think I'm talking about money. But that is a reflection. That is a measurement. That's the point I'm making. It is a reflection and a measurement of what is happening. And you can't take it lightly. Whether they tell you there is money or there is money, there is no money. You got to be smart. If you are spending money in your house and you don't have a work soon, you ain't going to have no money on the bank. You're going to well want to work to put back the money on the bank. So if the government say they have a lot of money, they've been spending money and nothing coming in soon, they ain't going to have no money. And not soon. I don't believe they have none. And that is how I feel. I don't think they have any. So we have to get back to it and across the caribbean they're having a dusty time as we like to say we got to keep the momentum i know that we all have our persuasions and our ideas but i want us to really seriously think about what our responsibility is supposed to be and to make a decision and to recognize that the decision that we make is also in the best interest of the people who are around us and even in our church that is important, you see. Um, see y'all sitting down, no one another, nobody far from nobody, because you trust everybody. But we have to make sure that we are in line. So this morning, uh, Dr. Sebastian, Cuthbert Sebastian Jr., he is going to share with us briefly. And what we want him to talk about really is a lot of the misconceptions. We don't want to know a lot of science. The misconceptions that are there and the benefits of doing this vaccine. So Dr. Sebastian, we are counting on you. Depending on how good your presentation is, it will decide how many people go for the thing this week because we want them, we want this church clear up by Easter Sunday. Everybody, because after that, we ain't following no rules, we jam in. <laughs> we, we, we just, we just, we just going back, we ain't following no rules. All right? So once we do that, we're good. So you make sure you do your presentation really good this morning. All right? So thank you so very much. At the end, if you have any questions, you can ask him. Uh, but we want to give God thanks for that. You come up here. Come on, right here, doctor, and tell us. Okay, so listen keenly, those of you who still... How many of you had it already? Stand up, stand up. See, that's good. Lots of you, lots of you. All right, by next week, we're going to have almost all of you. And then the following week, we're going to have those who are struggling at the end. All right, amen. 
Hello.